to One Left Gym. If you saw my video on the window chip that my wife got like on her third day of driving and the first time on the highway, then you might not be surprised that I'm installing a bug and rock hood deflector. When I told my wife its purpose, she was all for it. Hey, I have no idea if this thing will help, but I've read that it might, so why not? I still had some Ford Pass rewards points, so I used them. I started this install by just marking the approximate position this thing was going to cover so I could get the surface really clean. I had ceramic coated the Bronco, so I needed to make sure the deflector would stick. I started by wiping it down with a 50-50 mix of isopropyl alcohol and water. I got the Torx random orbital polisher out and went over the entire area with what I'd call a mildly aggressive polish. After the dried polish residue was buffed off, I then went over the area again with my alcohol and water mix. And now it was time to mark the exact area where this thing would cover. Here's a view of what the tape looks like on the back of the deflector. And now that we know exactly where the tape will be touching, I used the included alcohol pads to clean these sections again. I know this is probably all overkill by this point, but it doesn't hurt to be sure it's going to stick I guess. This thing also came with a special surface prep or primer type pad. This stuff has some serious warnings on it. I guess I don't want to touch it, or lick it, or rub it in my eyes. Using a glove is probably wise. Wait, did I just rhyme like Fezzik from The Princess Bride? And once again, I went over the same areas with this snot looking primer substance. If you've ever applied stuff like this, you know that you don't remove the entire tape liner. You just get it started so you can get the part into position first, and then remove the liner while it's held in place. Well, in the past, I've had the stupid tape liner flop back under the part, which really sucked. So now I like to tape the liner to the front of the part, just in case. I don't know about you, but I hate trying to get this type of tape started. At some point here, I managed to stab myself with my X-Acto knife. Anyone have some tips to make this easier? Let me know in the comments below. The little label on the deflector's wrapper said to refer to the instructions before installing, but I didn't get any. I triple checked the box, but nothing. I mean, I know it's not rocket science, but I still looked for and found the generic instructions for hood deflector installation on Ford's site. The tape removal pattern is supposed to be the top edge first, starting from the center, working the deflector down to the sides. Once the top edge was locked down, then you repeat this on the bottom centered to the sides. This thing was a little warped, so going center out makes sense to me. It'll make sure it doesn't bow in the center. You might also have noticed my wife helped me hold it securely in position. I don't think this is a one-person job if you can help it, not if you want to get it lined up as closely as possible. And that's pretty much it. Pretty anticlimactic after all that prep work. The online instructions did say not to drive for like 24 hours, I guess while the adhesive sets up. Don't need this thing flying off on the highway. The overall fitment is pretty good, given that it's plastic and was slightly warped to begin with. The only spot that bothers me is on the right side. You can just see a sliver of the hood. I don't know how much of this is my fault though. The left side looked perfectly aligned to me, so I don't think this thing could have been shifted any more to the right. I had read that this might be an issue, so I came prepared. I grabbed a strip of matte black vinyl from work and figured I could just cover this up. It's enough so this, this won't be noticeable from a distance. If my wife had chosen a dark colored paint for a Bronco, I probably wouldn't have even bothered with this step. Overall, I think this came out pretty good. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I think it does look good. Hopefully it's functional too. Yes. Since she wanted this to help protect the Bronco's window from future rock chips, my wife of course is pretty happy it's finally on. And she likes the way it looks too, so that's an added bonus. This was the official Ford hood deflector, but I noticed that there are other brands being sold. 
I put links to this one and some other ones I saw on Amazon in the description below if anyone is interested in getting one after seeing this video. And if you've already put one of these on, how did you find the fit? Let me and everyone else know in the comments below. And as always, see you later.